Welcome back to Informatica tutorial. So let's uh, see one more variation of you have a employee table here and uh, you want to get uh, for whatever reason you have uh, 12 different departments here uh, and you want to get only one record uh, for uh, all the departments in the target table. So here there are 107 one uh, per department ID and you really don't care which one you will get so you want to get only 12 records one per uh, department ID so uh, Informatica so I, I, I'm creating a new mapping M employees AGG2 and I'm dragging uh, first employee source into this and then employees target into this and uh, I will put an agree I want to get all the columns from uh, employees unlike before where I got only department ID and max salary or average salary I want to get all the columns this time and uh, I want to create a aggregator transformation agg underscore uh, EMP uh, with employees on department ID so only one record per department ID I want so let me get all the uh, record all the columns into aggregator I will group by department ID here and uh, I will not do anything else I don't need any uh, any aggregate functions like sum or average I just want all the columns as is but only one per department so I'll also do one thing here I'll order by select star from employees order by department ID and uh, salary I'll order by these two columns and uh, uh, let me connect these two using auto link from aggregator to the target and I'll save this and I'll create a workflow to run this WF employees AGG2 and a session to run this as well yes employees AGG2 and uh, I will do some settings uh, our standard settings to any session fail parent if the task fails write backward compatible log file HR is my source and target is my target and save session logs for five runs and stop on errors as one and in the mappings I'll say dollar source here and the target employees I'll take normal loading I'll put dollar target here I'll truncate and load the tables here and let me run this now how many records I'll get and uh, so which which one for each department I will get exactly so I need to see that as well so uh, here I'll go to task view and get run properties so I got 12 uh, records into the flat file uh, so okay I have uh, taken target uh, here okay this is not the mapping okay let me see here this is the workflow which I'm running now so I got uh, 12 records as expected so let me see in target table what are those 12 records so since we sorted based on department ID uh, we got uh, one for each department finally one department has uh, null uh, one department ID is null so which records did we get uh, out of several records available for that uh, department so let me see that so I'm going to export this data set uh, to clipboard and then uh, with uh, delimited text and tab delimiter and uh, I'll paste it in an excel sheet and let me go back now and check uh, HR dot employees order by uh, employee order by department ID and salary 
So now we got uh, for department 10, there is only one record and we got that record. For department 20, we got uh, uh, two records and we got the last one. Uh, how, what did we get here? The last one. So department 30 has more records. So what did I get here again? The last one with 11,000. So department 40 has only one. I got uh, that uh, one record here. Department 50 has more uh, records. Department 50 has a lot of records. So again, I got the uh, last one, which is 8,200 uh, Adam Fripp record. So basically, uh, when I do this uh, group by only on one port, like department ID here, and don't give any uh, aggregator functions, uh, like sum or average or anything, and I want to connect uh, all the uh, columns if even if I do a uh, even if I do an aggregator fun uh, aggregation on only one of the columns like if I do average salary here for example even then uh, and if I want to connect all the ports I will always get the last record from each group so suppose if I put as O salary here decimal 8 comma 2 and this is my decimal 8 comma 2 and this is my input only and this is my output and if i say sum of salary here even then i will exactly get 12 records with uh, the last uh, the other columns uh, basically uh, the data will come from the last record in that group so o salary if i connect to o salary i'll save this and i'll refresh the mapping I'll run this again so this time it will be uh, it will not be salary of the last record but it will be sum of all the salaries of all the records all the employees in that department but the remaining fields uh, will come from the last record only so let's see that export data set and uh, I'll paste it here and in a different color maybe and then sort using this so you can see now uh, okay still we got uh, how many records we got here in the output only 12 records okay did I not do truncate and load here I did truncate and load okay okay I did a small uh, mistake so I should have taken this one not uh, the second one so let me export data from here and 12 rows are exported and I'll paste it here in another color and I will sort based on this filter so we will see based on the employee ID so we see here earlier we got 24,000 salary for department 90 now we got 58,000 that is basically sum of all the employees in department uh, 90 so other other fields will remain same it will be the last uh, uh, m last record uh, from that group but actually this data is wrong it uh, is uh, telling as if this employee has so much salary so we have to be careful in doing this if you want to take only one record from that group this is fine the last record is fine but if you want to take the max or uh, functions like that the other uh, data the in that uh, same record will not really match to this so you have to be careful about that while uh, doing this one okay uh, so next class we'll see some more transformations Thank